Well, good evening. I'm happy to be here tonight, and I'm happy to be back again with the Citizens Academy class. I, I tell everyone that when I gave the bus tour on your uh, se first session that I think I enjoyed that, I hopefully, as much as you all did, because you were you were a, a great group of folks, and I really enjoyed going through that tour in Rocky Mountain. And I learned a lot from you all, and I hope you learned a little bit from me during that tour. I, um, before we get started, I did want, as Mr. Penny did, I did want to extend my thank you to the participants of this Citizens Academy class. We truly do appreciate the fact that, the, that you have taken your Thursday nights out since March, beginning of March, and spent them with us and taken the time to get to know a little bit about what we do and what we love. We, we just appreciate the opportunity to share with you all those things that keep us busy every day. And we really want to thank you for that time and that commitment to have a, an open mind to come in to listen and to learn about the city of Rocky Mountain. So thank you very much. And I think we all, you all all deserve a hand. Um, so what we're going to do tonight is we're going to announce all the graduates and we're going to need you to come up and pick up a certificate from Mr. Penny and Loretta. Is that right? <laughs> Okay, so the first one, I'm going to ask Catherine Arrington to come up. Catherine is retired, but she works part-time as a substitute teacher, teacher for the Nash Rocky Mountain Schools, and she also serves as a part-time hostess for the Four Seasons Restaurant. So congratulations, Catherine. Next, I have Dorothy Battle. <laughs> Dorothy Battle, it says here, is retired and that she is an excellent cook. She is always reaching out to help others in her neighborhood. She is an Avon representative and is a graduate of both the police and the fire academies. So congratulations, Dorothy. <laughs> Next, I'd like to have Katherine Blackwell come up. <laughs> Katherine is a retired educator and the manager of the BTW Resource Center. She has also served as the national president of the BTW Alumni Association. So here's Katherine Blackwell. <laughs> Next I have Melinda Burt. Ms. Burt. Ms. Burt is retired and she is active in her church and serves as a Sunday school teacher. Next, I, I need David Daniel. <laughs> Mr. Daniel is also retired, and what this form says is that he loves to have fun. I wonder if the rest of the class would, would say that that was the case. And he is currently a participant in our police academy as well. So he's getting ready to do lots of graduations. Losey, Losey, um, Lossie Daniels is uh, De Deans is not here, so we'll move on to De 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 Dolores Devalier. Dolores has been a resident of Rocky Mount since 1998. She is retired, but she serves as a volunteer at our senior center. <laughs> Leah Henry, who um, is our staff member, is, um, is not here. She's actually on a field trip with her son, but we'll make sure Leah gets the, um, her certificate. Next is Joanne Jones. Mrs. Jones is employed with the Western Southern Life Insurance Company. 
She is also a board member for the Buck Leonard Baseball Association, and she has been a, a resident of Rocky Mount for 10 years. Okay, next I'd like Herbert Lucy to come up. <laughs> uh, Herbert is retired from the Washington Metro Area Transit Authority. He has also served as a lifeguard at the Senior Center and he has been a resident for, in Rocky Mountain for two years and he likes to be involved in the community. Mr. Lucy. Uh, next, I would like Ty Muhammad to come forward. Ty is self-employed. He is a student captain for the Nation of Islam. He serves as the historian for the South Rocky Mount Community Center and has been a resident of the city for 10 years. Ty Muhammad. <laughs> Next, we need Barbara Parker. <coughs> uh, Ms. Parker is a retiree of the Nash Rocky Mountain School System. She is the treasurer of the Cedarbrook Neighborhood Association, and she attends our, our monthly neighborhood president's meeting. Ms. Barbara Parker. And now we need Michael Parker to come forward. Now we need a picture. I think. Michael is the leader of the male course and Word Tabernacle Church, and he loves to cook. He has already been recruiting participants for the fall session of the Citizens Academy, and he served as Loretta's assistant for this session. Now, there's got to be a little bit of a story there. Maybe Loretta will get to it. So this is Michael Parker. <laughs> and next we need Ron Price. Mr. Price is a member of the Redevelopment Commission with the City of Rocky Mount. He has extensive experience in the field of planning and development. And this is Ron. Okay, now we need Miss Lucy Taylor. Lucy is a cosmetologist and a member of the Human Relations Commission. She has been an activist in the city for many years. She also, she is also working to help others. <laughs> Ms. Lucy Taylor. Last, we need um, Cynthia Wilkins. Cynthia is employed with the Nash County Social Services Department. She has been a resident of the city for 18 years. She volunteers for Meals on Wheels and the American Red Cross, and she has been associated with the Gaston County Alumni Society for 20 years. Cynthia Wilkins. Okay, and I believe now I'm gonna turn it over to Ms. Braswell for some special presentations. We have some uh, special presentations tonight. We have a number of uh, participants who uh, attended all 10 sessions, and we want to recognize them at this time. Our first uh, contestant is a participant, Katherine Arrington. Can. Catherine Blackwell. <laughs> Melinda Burt.
David Daniel. Michael Parker. My sister. <laughs> That's David. And finally, Lucy Taylor. Yeah. Oh, we got some more for her. Some more stuff. Let's give all of them a round of applause. Thank you all. They just couldn't stay away. <laughs> As a class talked about a community service project, and this group will be doing a number of them. They're going to be participating in our Keep America Beautiful project. And uh, they're going to be helping to recruit uh, persons for our fall session. So you're going to be seeing them out at the mall and at, at uh, City Hall and a number of places recruiting them. And for those of you who are not part of it, make sure we, we have your names tonight. Okay, because we would love for you to have the same experience that the other members of the spring session have had. We have uh, one of our participants who said that she wanted to do a poem tonight, Miss Catherine Arrington, and we're going to ask her to come forward at this time. The title of my poem is Where Peaceful Waters Flow. The clouds break forth the streams of light to dance upon the earth, and cradle in the sands of time comes a newborn baby's birth. A gentle breeze blows through the night, it whispers through the grass, and ripples on the water form as rain glistens on the glass. As you listen to the sound, to the Lord's presence all around, he summons us to go where peaceful waters flow. A rainbow arch across the sky, a promise is displayed. The graceful light of a butterfly, it takes my breath away. The autumn leaves in their splendor fall gracefully to the earth. And stars proclaim their songs at night. What is their beauty worth? And you listen to the sound of the Lord's presence all around. He summons us to go where peaceful waters flow. Thank you. Oh, wonderful. wonderful. Thank you so much for, for that, Catherine. We appreciate that. Class superlatives. This is always interesting, and I enjoy compiling them and uh, to find out what you really think about members of the class. So as I call your names, uh, based on what your your uh, your classmates have said, I have nothing to do with it. Wow. Let's get that straight now. But we have several categories, and I want you to listen, and I want those persons to come up. Miss Congeniality, Cynthia Wilkins. Hmm. Now, now, if you'll just come up front, we have something special for you that has not come back yet, but you will be getting that special, special thing. Mr. Congeniality, you all guess who that might be? Mike. David Daniel. <laughs> Just come up and stand so everybody can see you. Huh? Mr. Con Mr. Congeniality. Now this one is probably not a surprise. Most talkative, 
Who? Who? Lucy Tell. Come on. <laughs> Lucy Tell. Uh huh. Uh, choirs. We had uh, a tie there. So the choirs, Dot Battle, and Barbara Parker. The earliest. Also, Barbara Parker. <laughs> she would always get there very early and say, is there anything I can help you do? Most energy, we had a tie for this, Herbert Lucy and Dolores Devalier. <laughs> Most energy, and Herbert has been running, he's involved with the Senior Center and he's been competing in some running events, and he's been doing very well. Now the latest, we have a three-way tie. Three-way, and you all probably know who they are. One of them is already up there. Two of them are already up there. The latest, Lucy Taylor, Ty Muhammad, <laughs> and Cynthia Wilkins. Now, should be the class spokesperson, I'm not gonna give that name right now because you will hear from that person uh, uh, in a few minutes. Very helpful, Catherine Blackwell. Most helpful. Ask the most questions, Ron Price. <laughs> Most comical, and these two gentlemen are already up there, Ty and David. <laughs> and the name game winners, if you will recall, I said I would give them some cash. We normally have one, but we had three this time. We had three people to compete. Michael Parker was the first one, so Mike. Catherine Arrington was the second person to try out. Thank you. Catherine. And the one person who got all of the names, Melinda Burt. Melinda Burt yeah. <laughs> so here you go. These are the superlatives according to you all as classmates. Let's give them a hand. All right, you may be seated. You all voted on the person who you thought should give uh, a speech tonight on behalf of all of you all. And this gentleman, um, I guess you could say he was the most helpful too, because he always asks, is it anything I can do and when I had papers to pull, to pass out, he always got them. And as soon as somebody would come in, he would make sure that they got what they needed. He always was asking to do something. He is a, just a very fine gentleman, and I have enjoyed having him in this class. Now, who do you think is going to be our spokesperson today? Yes. You're exactly right. Michael Parker, will you please come and give us a few words. I've enjoyed him, and um, Michael sings. So I don't know what he has in store for us tonight. Michael, I'm turning it over to you. All right? <laughs> Good evening, class. She just put me right on the spot, right? Okay, I just want to, do, um, first of all, do a little bit of this song right here, just a little bit. How can I say thanks 
for the things you have done for me, things so undeserved, yet you give to prove your love for me, the voices of a million angels could not express my gratitude. All that I am and ever hope to be, I owe it all to thee. To God be the glory. To God be the glory, to God be the glory for the things he has done. Just let me live my life. Let it be pleasing, Lord, to thee. And should I gain any praise, let it go to Calvary. With his blood, he has saved me. With his power, he has raised me. To God be the glory for the things he has done. Mm. First of all, give an honor to God, who's the head of my life, to the city officials, to the city staff, Ms. Loretta Braswell. Thank you for being a part of my life. Um, this has really been a great experience for me. Coming to a city, I've been in Rocky Mountain now 17 years, um, but first, out of all the cities that I have lived in, started now with where, where I'm originally from, Kinston, um, we never had anything like this. And this to let us know what actually goes on in this city, in Lino County, period. But I really appreciate um, them taking on this program to, for the citizens um, and the people here in the um, National Edgecombe County. Um, this, this, like I said, this experience, we can go now, what I feel now, we are ambassadors for the city of Rocky Mountain now. If, like um, um, Mr. Penny said, if you hear anybody talking anything negative out of all the departments that we went through in this city, we can correct them, okay? You don't have to be harsh or nasty about it. You just pull them off to the side and talk to them and let them know what actually goes on in the city of Rocky Mountain. Um, like I said, I have received so much and since I've been in these classes. And you know, we all have heard people talking. We all have heard it. But now we can, we can stand flat-footed and let them know exactly what actually goes on in the city of Rocky Mount. Okay? Um, like I said, I really enjoyed this class. I really enjoyed meeting all my classmates. We really had a good time. We cut up. We had a good time. That's what I like. I like to have fun, too. Um, but any, if you know anybody that you feel that would love to go for this class, please, please refer them to um, Loretta, Bras <laughs> Loretta Braswell and let them know. So we want her classes to fill up, y'all. We want, we want to get the people involved in the city of Rocky Mountain. I know that's one of the things that I would, as I would be on is um, trying to get people to join the academy, to get involved in the city. What we need to do, we need to get involved in our city. We don't need to have people coming in. We need to do it ourselves. We already here. So we can do this, amen? Mr. Braswell, can you come up here, please? She's still, she's still feeding her mouth. 
That's all right. On behalf of your, your spring class, we just want to present you with this gift. Okay. We love you. Anything we can do for you, just let us know. We're here for you. Thank okay. you, and I love you all, Thank too. You. Thank, you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You've done a great job. Yes. Thank you. Great job. Thank you so much. Before we close out tonight, I wanted to um, extend a very special thanks to a couple of staff people who make this whole Citizens Academy possible. First, I'd like to, the, the two ladies that are sitting in the hallway in there, and I don't know why they're sitting out there, now they've turned their back to me, I'm not really sure why, but Bernetta, Bernetta, wave your hand, Bernetta's in the green shirt, Kamala Austin is in the orange shirt. These two ladies help us when we do the Citizens Academy, and without them, it would not be possible. So let us please just appreciate them, and maybe they'll turn around and face us. Hmm? Hmm? Right, well, and I, well, I'll let you announce that. And this, the, the, the last person I'd like to recognize is Loretta. Loretta and I started this. Back in 2010, um, we, st we came up with the idea that we wanted to do the Citizens Academy, and Loretta and I worked together on doing that first Citizens Academy. And it was truly an effort of passion for Loretta. She truly loves the city of Rocky Mount and loved the opportunity to share her knowledge with, uh, about our community with community members. And she is the force behind this whole Citizens Academy. She makes it work session after session after session. She sa stays on all the department heads. She tells us exactly what we need to do, when we need to go. Sometimes she, sa she keeps us limited to a certain amount of time, which is difficult with, a lot of, with some of the people that we work with. But Loretta is the driving force behind it. And without it, it would not be possible. And she does it because she truly loves the city of Rocky Mount. And so I really want to say thank you. Thank you for, for three years of Citizens Academies. Thank you for, for what you do, and um, thanks. Thank you. I don't know if Ann is getting ready to fire me or what, but, uh, <laughs> but she's exactly right. I love Citizens Academy. I retired in 2010, and uh, I remember in 2000, I was out for about a year in 2011, and called me, and it was on a Wednesday right before Thanksgiving, and, and asked if I would be interested in coming back. And I said, can I come today? <laughs> and she said, well, let's get through Thanksgiving first. And we did, and I just thoroughly enjoy this. But that's because of participants like you. You know, you get so attached to, to, the, to the classes, and I really hate to see you all leave because you, you've just been such a joy to me. And every time it stops, I have to think, what am I going to do on Thursdays? So I don't know what you all are going to do, but we certainly do need you to help recruit additional citizens because our fall session will begin September the 6th. But I will be sending you information because we are going to need you to help us recruit some additional citizens.